Right, we are here upstairs at the Opera House. It's quite quiet up here. Actually, it's quite nice, isn't it? MC yeah, Casper. Nice chilled, yeah, definitely. It's a little more. Um, At least you don't get wet like you do outside. And no, you know, a little bit and damp. People, you know, milling about and wanting to get in get on in the interviews. On, yeah, get in and get on in the action. Yes, and it's nice because I do want to and have wanted to for a little while have a proper chat and interview with this fella. Yeah, man, it's, it's been a while. It has been a while, yeah. Yes. Yeah, definitely. We've done, what, two, DD, two DVDs ago? Yeah, man. And we had a quick. A little quick, on. little quick chat, yeah. Now, a little, little insight into Casper's world a little bit and we did touch on this the first time around but I'm going to talk about it a little more because I am intrigued by it we'll see from the cap now that's Yankees. none of this none of this has the George business right? it's all about the Yankees mate that's a proper literally full on yeah man it's all about the Bronx mate Yankee Stadium now the reason why this man speaks so highly of such a place is because you are getting a lot of work in America. Yeah, man. Yeah, this year's been good. I've had New York will be three times. I'm going back in a couple of weeks. Of LA, twice. Been to San Francisco, going to Pittsburgh, and I think I've got one in Buffalo as well coming up. So, which is New York State, but apparently it's right on the border with Canada. So it's probably pretty cold this time of year, I reckon. Or, or the party will be dead, one of the two. I don't know. <laughs> well, I was going to say, which begs the question, Raven's big in America then? Well, it, it, there's a, I've, done a, I've done some small ones, and I've done ones that they call a, a massive, which would be like slamming vinyl sort of size. I did one in San Francisco. It was, there was a few of us that went out. I went out with Watsy and Mark Smith, and we, we met up with Sharky and Robbie Long out there as well, and Impact, who's now with the Australian crew, but he used to be one of the future dance boys back okay. in the day. So kick him right off out. Yeah, it was cool, man. The massive one, it was like, their main room was trance, but they had like a, a hardcore room, which it was a huge room, but they probably had about four or 500 people in there. And they were having it, but the best one has got to be New York. Definitely big up the Candy Ball and the Ravers Only crew. Yeah, I keep hearing a lot about Candy Ball, and I'm sure there's a few Ravers out there who have heard of it before now as well. Talk, yeah, man. So what's it all about? Well, basically, there's a website called Ravers Only. They sponsor me. So, well, me and Mark Smith, we're there like UK boys. And, uh, yeah, basically, there's a guy called Smoke, and he, he runs this website. And he used to put on parties just for his mates, and he decided to, like, go for it. There was no hardcore parties, pure hardcore in New York. So he thought, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. And, yeah, you know, he, he I think he's done... I think the one coming up in October for Halloween, I think that's going to be... His sixth one, because yeah, it's three a year. I went over for my first time last October for his treats and beats, which was wicked. And it was me and Impact, and then I went back in April with Mark Smith and Hixie, and I swear, man, the, the club was rammed, mate. It was like sardines. They had, they actually had more people than they should have in the club because the security were just letting them in. The promoter was like, no, nah, I don't want any more people in. See, that's but, different from how it is over here. It's yeah. using security telling the promoter no. Yeah, but no, it was the other way around, and they they had like twelve hundred people in like a nine hundred capacity venue, and it was sick. Seriously, all you could hear was like whistles, like it was mad. When Hixie went on, the place just went berserk, and obviously the same with Smithy. Well, they just went mental. It was it was cool. It was a good experience. I went back out there as well and did July the fourth, but the April party, seriously, that was mad. So I'm going back for treats and beats too. Halloween it's actually on Halloween as well the 31st of October and it's gonna be cool because it'd be like Joey Riot, Kurt, Pikey's coming out, Stormtrooper, there's a guy from Australia I don't know some people might have heard of him his name is Sol and he's had a, he's had some tunes through New Energy that have come out I think there's one called I think it's Pretty Rave Girl mm -hmm. seriously I, I don't know if people many people know him out here but He's got some wicked tunes, man. And in America, what I don't understand is like, you get all the big names that will be out there. Like when I went out the other week, you had Gamma and Brisk and Ham, uh, Kev Energy, you know, their sets all went down mad. But the, the, the thing, the funniest thing was this guy, so they all just go crazy for him. And he's like, I'll say, just some Australian dude that you never heard of. So it's weird, the scene out there, it doesn't matter if you're a big name, you know, if, if you're good, then they like what you do. So it's all cool. So in comparison to over here, because I, mean, I assume you're pretty busy over here as well. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm doing a few things over here. You know, this slamming vinyls, hardcore heavens, HGIDs. I had my first uproar the other weekend. For, that, that was cool. Yeah, I did the tidy weekend there last night. That was quite 
quite different. You did go, because we chatted before, yeah. and you were going to go, and you're like, mm. I haven't denied it. it was a last minute thing. and so it was like, old drive. Yeah, it was four and a half hours, but I've, I've done them years ago, and I thought, well, I have nothing else to do. It's either sit at home and eat pizza and probably play on the Xbox, or uh, go to a rave. So I thought, well, hmm. And get paid for it. Yeah. Well, it's always nice. Yeah, but, you know, it was cool, it was, it was cool as well, because I don't really like driving, and it meant, you know, it's, it's getting me over my fear of driving, man. He, he did ask if it's, oh, it's fancy the tidy weekend down. <laughs> yeah. It's like... I really wanted to go, and it was a bit last minute, but I think it was all too yeah, last minute. Yeah, other commitment. Oh, so. I really wanted to go, and I was like, okay, no, I can't do it. Yeah, it, 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 no, to be fair, like I've said, it was it was mad, because I didn't get back till half six this evening, so it's pretty much get home, get chained, and just have something to eat quickly, and then come back down here, and it was like, yeah, it's all all go, go, go. Which How's is, it been in there, from a, from yeah. an MC's point of view? I, I actually really enjoyed it, man. Jay White smashed it. It was quite odd though, like with all these people like dancing around on stage. But the the moment of the night for me was when I when I said, "Give some noise for the midgets." When these little dwarfs come on stage, yeah, I, so the little I, guys out and about, you know. And I think it was one of the one of them was dressed up in scrubs. He he, he grabbed the mic off me and he goes, "We're not midgets, we're dwarfs, you motherfucker!" And I was like. <laughs> Aside from globe trotting and of course smashing it all around the UK, are you doing yeah. anything else? Um, what with my life in general? Oh, with your life in general? Life. Or are you recording well, I, I, anything? No, I'm like. I, She's had a few tunes. Yeah, well, I did one about a year ago. I haven't done done anything for a while. You say I've recently. Had, <laughs> I've had, Since I've you've had, done a few tunes. Yeah, I have done. Yeah, but in, in the past, yeah, man, I'm back with the next generation of Brisk and Ham and my old main man Vagabond. But yeah, that was good, man. Like, I, you know, it was cool, man. Were you not out and about with Vagabond earlier? No, I, I I couldn't go in there, and I fell asleep. The pla there was a plan behind that that Casper was going to go out. For a meal, yeah, it was his birthday, so maximum respect and big birthday shouts to him. I was gonna get a vagabond update then, but yeah. you fell asleep. What's that all about? Well, like I say, it was tidy, mate. He was driving, man. Well, there you I go. I'm half six this evening and I had to be here like four hours later, so it was like. So you crashed out over there? Yeah, no, yeah well, yeah, I, I had a chalet and literally fell asleep about an hour after my set, which was cool. It's nice to be able to like get some zeds, man. Okay, right, give us the round up then. Uh, what's coming up over the next couple of weeks? Next couple of weeks, uh, we've got, I think we've got Rave of Baby coming up, uh, Electric Euphoria, uh, Westfest, and back to New York, and also Pittsburgh. Yeah, that's going to be quite cool. We've got a little mini tour going on. So it's New York with the boys I mentioned earlier, and then. Me and Pikey are going to, because um, Pikey's playing as well, we're going to Pittsburgh the week after. And I've possibly going to uh, Buffalo in between, but I don't know. It depends what the score is, but I'm quite looking forward to going out to New York because we're going to see Cypress Hill. I want to go with well. him now. Yeah, but Cypress Hill, mate. We're going to see Cypress fucking Hill, mate. A to the motherfucking K. Legendary. You know what I'm saying? I'm all jealous and shit. Is that yeah. all about? Well, what? me too. We, you're going, <laughs> bastard. Right, MC Casper, one of the South Coast's finest MCs, and indeed, the United States. Thank you very much. Cheers, man.